Right, we've got a couple of lovely little rules to look at with this video. So the first one is the product rule. So this is if you have your um, function y is some multiple of two other functions, this one we're going to call as u and v, then the theory goes that if you want to find dy by dx, you need to do the following. You'll differentiate the first function, u, you'll times it by v, then you will add on the original of the first function and you'll times it by the derivative of the second function. Okay, now this one is on your formula sheet, you don't have to memorize it, but it is pretty um, easy to get used to doing anyway. Um, now on your formula sheet it's actually written the other way around, so v du by dx. Okay, so let's see how to use this. We're going to find dy by dx on this one. So u is x squared and v is 1 minus 2x. So the two things that got multiplied together to make y. Differentiate each of them. So du by dx is 2x and dv by dx is, one, is minus 2. So to find dy by dx, we need to do the derivative of the first function times the original of the second plus the derivative of the second function times the original of the first. And if we multiply out and simplify this, we get the following. Now we can actually check this one because normally if you'd have got that, you would have just multiplied out the bracket and then differentiated it. So if we do that, we get the same answer here. Now you need to know the product rule for things later on where we can't do that expanding of the brackets. Um, at the moment we're keeping things fairly simple, you'll see where this leads to later on. Okay, so we'll try another one. x times the square root of 4x minus 1. Now just to put this into terms of function notation, this one would be written like this, so if f of x is g of x times h of x, then f dash of x will be g dash x h x plus g x h dash x. Read, it reads the same way, so differentiate the first function times by the second plus the first function times by the derivative of the second. Alright, so g of x is x and h of x is the square root of 4x minus 1, which I'm going to write in um, exponent notation to make it easier to differentiate. So differentiate each of those, we get g dash of x is 1, h dash of x is, using the chain rule, 2 times 4x minus 1 to the minus half. If you can't remember chain rule, go look up the video. Okay, f dash of x then is the following. So it's the g, uh, g dash of x times h of x plus g of x times h dash of x. Okay, quotient rule. This is if you're dividing. So if y is equal to u over v, then dy by dx is, and get ready for this one, the bottom function times the derivative of the top minus the top function times the derivative of the bottom, all divided by the bottom function squared. Okay, that's also on your formula sheet and it's really important you get them the right way round. Common mistakes are made by doing that subtraction on the top in the wrong order, so make sure you've got your VDU coming first. Alright, let's see how to use this then. So y is x minus 1 over x squared plus 3. So u is x minus 1 and v is x squared plus 3. Differentiate both of those and then put it together for dy by dx. So we are doing v times du plus, uh, minus u times dv by dx and then all over v squared on the bottom. Now this one we can try and simplify it a little. Um, just sorting out that numerator mostly. Now a lot of the time we will try to check if that factorizes because sometimes if it factorizes you might be able to simplify it further. If we came out with um, some sort of factor on the top that would cancel with a factor on the bottom that would help us out. This one in particular doesn't. 
so we've gone as far as we can with that one. We'll try a, another example now, so x squared plus 3 over x plus 3, this time in function notation, so <clears throat> we're doing g dash of x times h of x minus g of x times h dash of x all over h squared x. So if you get it in function form you can use it like this. You can also convert it back to, you can change it into y equals u over v if you prefer to think of things that way, but if you prefer to think of things in function notation, there it is. Alright, so g of x is the top, h of x is the bottom. Differentiate both of those and then put them together. So we are going to do g of x, so g dash of x times h of x, subtract g of x times h dash of x and divide it by h squared of x. And then see if we can simplify that down a little. And that is as far as that one went. 